So welcome to Tie Kicks 81. Really glad to have you guys on board for another video this Tuesday. And I wanted to go through a few quick bits of news before going through my tale of being scammed. So I want to shout out to Dan Giles, your average sneakerhead. He's got an amazing YouTube channel and is a great customizer. He sent me one of these amazing Nike tees that he made and he's going to be making a lot more in the future. So go and check out what he's doing. You can find all the relevant information down in the description below. The other pieces of news that I wanted to go through as well is that I managed to have a little look around the local stores in Birmingham City Centre in the UK to see what they had sitting and a couple of shoes that took my fancy i had a little look at the new solar boost the solar boost was a really cool looking shoe but it definitely looks like it's made for running i don't think it's going to be that type of shoe that's going to sort of turn into a lifestyle shoe like ultra boost i think that it's definitely for running and when i get my hands on a pair of them i'll definitely be doing a review but as you can see in some of the images and video that i managed to get hold of they are very different i'm not super excited about the colorway i sort of think when new colorways come out maybe it might be an interesting one to see where that goes but as it stands it's the first time they've ever released a new boost shoe that has some elements of ultra boost about it but is a brand new silhouette now there is an explanation for why i am out in the great outdoors it's because the weather has been phenomenal it's been really nice to get out and get some fresh air so I'm going to be talking to you about this scam that took place to me. I think it's probably wise considering it's a bit windy out here and it's probably a little bit too noisy. So I think maybe we should just go and head somewhere a little bit quieter. Last week on Saturday, I went to the Manchester Crep City absolutely loved getting out and seeing some people meeting some of the guys who do youtube channels like myself like danny and lance from the annex and uh meeting a couple of other guys like brian from megapix souls awesome to meet you guys jordan I want to do a shout out as well i totally forgot you from lace supply co so uh, yeah big shout out to jordan he traveled all the way from scotland down to manchester for the event so you know shout out to him right so we're going to get into the nitty gritty with regards to me and this scam now yeah kind of not had a lot to do this week not many shoes have come in kind of not got that much to say so i don't really want to bore you with my scam stories they're not exactly one of those things that really enthralls people and it's not clickbait this is a genuinely true story and it is set a year ago roughly around now the yeezy v2 creams dropped at the end of april and I was desperate to get my hands on a pair of these shoes. I just really wanted them as my sort of chosen summer crep. 100% couldn't rest until I got my hands on them. And I didn't manage to get them for retail, which really bummed me out hugely. I'd gone for an operation and it was sort of a long time in recuperation. And I just sort of sat there going, I really want them shoes for summer. What happened next? this happened next so looking online having a look around as you do looking at resale prices and trying to cut yourself the best deal you can i came across a seller who in my eyes i would have normally have just looked at and moved on but there was something about the price that was just around that price i was willing to pay it wasn't too good to be true yet it wasn't over the top so I kind of went in and had some conversation, had a bit of a chat with this guy and he seemed genuine enough. Now I'm an experienced buyer. I wouldn't turn around and say that I can claim to be any kind of reseller, but I can claim to be an experienced buyer. But with my brain a little bit scrambled, I didn't do what you should do when it comes to the checks. Checking references, finding out anybody you know who might have done deals with these particular sellers and finding out about their just general reputation 
on the whole in the community. If the price is too good to be true, it usually is. But uh, on this occasion, I thought it was at the lower end of resale and I was gonna take a shot at it. So after a bit of conversation, I just bit the bullet and I paid the guy the money and he was sound, no problems whatsoever. He talked to me through the fact that he was gonna get them sent, next day delivery, it was gonna be covered and tracked, everything. The one thing that I did that I always do is I pay by PayPal goods and services to give me that little bit of reassurance that I'm covered if things aren't quite right. And I've never had an issue with scamming in the past, always felt fairly safe with it. You're never 100%, but you're, you, you know, you're covered. Anyway, this shoe didn't arrive for a whole entire week. And communication between the guy was sort of sparing, really difficult through text messages now, trying to find out what the hell was going on with the shoe. The guy got my money, he got the shoe still, and I was like, freaking out. <laughs> I wasn't gonna get this shoe and he got my money and I was gonna have to make a claim. And um, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna get them sent over to you. I just wanna just double check with a friend of mine that they're 100% kosher. 100% kosher? 100% real? How do you not know they're not real? You've been claiming they're real from the start and now you're telling me you think they might not be real and you were gonna be shipping me them three days previous and you didn't even know they were real. Now alarm bells are ringing massively. I'm seriously panicking. The guy's taken over 300 pounds of my money and I haven't got the shoe and he doesn't know that they are even legitimate. Two days later and a lot of nagging, I'm saying I cannot afford to lose this money. I'm almost giving a sob story to the guy in saying that, if this shoe isn't legitimate, what are you gonna do? Please get this refunded. I wanna know they're real. He's like, no, they're real. They're 100% real. Another two days pass. We're moving into the second week here after me purchasing these shoes. And finally, he comes back at me in saying he was gonna ship them out and everything was fine for that day. Hallelujah. Finally, I'm gonna get my shoes. The next day comes, no tracking details, no shoes whatsoever. I haven't got a clue what's going on, but all I'm worried about is, is that it? No shoes, no money, and it happens all the time. Was it my time to finally be scammed? The guy gets back to me and finally admits that they aren't legitimate and they are fake. They've been fake the whole time. I totally had not used my brain on this deal. It was the first time I'd ever done it. I was blinded by the lights of these particular shoes. Now these aren't fake, these are 100% real. I've worn them, I've beat them, I love them. They are a really sick summer crap. But I got these from a legitimate seller after being hit by this particular deal. The real ending to this story is that the guy actually refunded my money instantly. This guy grew a conscience and it doesn't happen very often. So my advice to you guys, if you are ever looking to buy on the resale market is do your homework. Make sure you know a little bit about the person you're buying from. Make sure that they have all appropriate forms of proof of purchase, if possible, to make sure that they have been bought from a reputable place or person. And make sure that you find people who have dealt with these people before. And if you're conscious that the price is too good to be true, it probably is. So, the easiest way to stay safe is likely to be buying through reputable, well-known groups on Facebook. Be very careful about eBay, be very careful about Depop. The only thing I can say is if you pay in the right way, you have some kind of cover. And luckily for me, I paid by PayPal and I would have hopefully got my money back ASAP. Usually they tend to side with the buyer over the seller but it doesn't always happen and you can end up being without anything, any money or any shoes. 
But the moral of the story is I've learnt my lesson and I will never ever do that again and fortunately managed to put my money into the use that I wanted to which was that I managed to get hold of a pair of the Yeezy V2 creams this time last May and I rocked them to death in the summer in great weather. I really really hope that you guys Listen, take heed and understand that I always do these videos to try and help you out. It may not be the most interesting video you've ever seen in your life, but it's definitely there for lessons to be learned and hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. I really hope you enjoyed the video this week. It may not be the coolest one that I've ever done, but I really want you to stay supporting Thai Kicks. I want to shout out to Daniel Vaughan. He was the winner of the Yeezy 500 retail giveaway, and he is gonna love his shoes when they arrive. Winning. I'm gonna have some more giveaways coming in the very near future, but I'm gonna have a little break. I'm going away to Portugal for my brother's wedding as of next week. So I'm gonna really struggle to get a Thai Kicks vlog out for the Tuesday next week. But if I can do a video, it may be one of those random specials. I may even do a live stream from abroad. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video, hit the subscribe button, go back to last week and check out my Crep City Manchester video because it, it's got some sick b-roll and not anything like this one with me just rabbiting and ranting. Boring old crap. I'll catch you very, very soon for another Thai Kicks video. Stay tuned to Instagram and stay tuned to Twitter for when my next video will be dropping. You'll get a heads up on there. Anything else, information will be in the description down below. And I will see you very, very soon. See you later, guys.